Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing yet another unhaul video. I feel like it hasn't been that long since my last one, but after that video, I kind of just stared at my shelves for a while and realized that there are definitely some series on here that I am only reading just to talk about them on my YouTube channel, and I don't want to be doing that. It is not really financially advisable to be doing that, so there's some of those series, also some series I had on my shelves for a while, and I realized I'm not going to read or I'm not going to reread it or if I do read it I don't think I'm going to love it so I got rid of some of those so we'll start with those ones actually since I've already unhauled those ones their first one is all 13 volumes of Hell's Paradise this series I read through in its entirety I think I read it on the Viz website or Shonen Jump website before it finished releasing in English and I definitely enjoyed the series but when I was looking at my Goodreads, I noticed that I gave pretty much all the volumes three stars, which means I liked it, but I didn't love it. I was keeping it on my shelves because I really liked the plant slash body horror thing going on. And I did enjoy quite a few of the characters, but I just don't think I would ever revisit the series. It, again, wasn't something that I loved. And part of me was only holding on to it because I really liked the covers and the spines and it looked nice on my shelf. But with the looming lack of space issue I have, I decided to go ahead and unhaul that one. Another one that I've already unhauled was volumes 1 through 13 plus the bonus Reagan volume of Mob Psycho 100. And I will confess, I did not read a single volume of this and I had been collecting it for a very long time, which I tend to do quite often and sometimes it works out for me. This time it did not. Honestly, if I want to consume the series, I'll just watch the anime. I've heard way, way better things about the anime. I've heard very, very good things about the anime, in fact. And even though I tend to prefer reading manga, I do, I am aware of the art style of Mob Psycho 100. It's not highly acclaimed, let's say. It's definitely not winning any awards for its art. So even though the story might be good, I decided I'll just go with the medium that people tend to prefer whenever I decide to get to that series. Also, it didn't help that the Dark Horse releases are so, so slow for the series. There is no reason it should take this long for a 16 volume series to be finished. So those are the two I've already gotten rid of. Next, I have one that is going to hurt some people and it kind of hurts me a little bit. But after my last reading vlog where I read the last volume of the series, and I really wasn't loving it. I realized that this series, I think, is just not for me anymore, even though it does nothing wrong. Anyway, this is A Man and His Cat, so I have all 11 volumes that are out right now. This is just a series that, of course, I like. I obviously love cat manga and cats in general, and a lot of the little in-between chapters are very funny and relatable, but I'm never excited to read the next volume, and to me, it feels like I'm just wasting my money if I'm only collecting them just because I liked the first couple volumes. If I'm not excited to get the next volume, I feel like that's a sign that something needs to go. So I'm going to be unhauling volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five with the infamous spine misprint, volume six, volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, volume 10, and volume 11. So hopefully someone who really can appreciate the series more than me will be able to get their hands on this now that I'm unhauling it. Next, I have another series that I have quite similar feelings about. That is Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko. So I was going to read the last volume, Omnibus 5, since it, again, is the final volume. And I'd gotten this far. I have the four omnibuses that, well, at this point, volume 5 is out. But I have four omnibuses here. I've read them all. And I thought they were all fine. And I kept reading them because... I was just hoping that it would get more into like the apocalyptic thing. Not that it had to go dark, just exploring more about humanity now that it has changed. And it does it a little bit, but it just doesn't go as in depth as I want it to. And of course the series doesn't have to, that's not what it's trying to do, but that's what I want out of a series. And I've had this issue with other slice of life series that take place in the future. They just don't explore the themes that I want them to. Again, that's not their intention. So it's more a my taste thing and not a criticism of the series. But so yeah, I was going to wait and read the final volume and let you know my thoughts on that. But I realized that would just be a waste of money because I know already what I'm going to think of it. I'm going to think of it the same way I've thought of these other four omnibuses and that it's fine, it's a nice enough read, but I literally never think about it when I'm not actively reading it. And I really only want series on my shelves that I think about, that I look forward to reading and rereading many times, 
and this one is not that. And I knew I was going to unhaul it after I read volume 5 and completed the series, so I decided just to cut my losses and unhaul it now. So I have Omnibus 1, Omnibus 2, Omnibus 3, and Omnibus 4. I do really like these releases. I'm glad that Seven Seas published it uh, since they're, you know, releasing older series and stuff. So I'm glad people can read this. I'm glad people have the opportunity to, but it's just not my thing, unfortunately, even though it has a robot in it. Speaking of disappointing robot manga, this one surprised even me. So I have all five volumes of The Country Without Humans. So this is one that I read the first volume. I really enjoyed it because, you know, it's got robots in it. And it's like a post-apocalyptic story following pretty much the only human left on Earth that we were aware of. And so I read the first volume, I really enjoyed it, and then I waited until the rest of the volumes were out to continue reading. So then I read volume two, and it was okay, but wasn't really doing anything that I was really invested in. And then I read volume three, and I couldn't finish it. So I bought these without reading them, and I'm going to unhaul them. But I've also heard that the ending is not that good, rushed, something like that. That's my problem with a lot of these shorter series is I read like half of the series and I'm not invested by then and I see no reason to finish it if it only has a few more volumes to develop the characters and the world and whatever. But yeah, this one does make me a little sad because I enjoyed the first volume so much, but I am going to be passing this along. Next is another one that might be kind of surprising. That is Tech on Kinkrete. I go out of my way to collect as many Taiyo Matsumoto works as I can. So that's why I had this and I read this and it really took me until like two thirds of the way through this to really start enjoying it. And that's a problem. This is also going to sound a little petty or something, but it's just not the right size to fit on my shelves properly. In the only place it fits down at the bottom where all my oversized books are, it takes up space that I need for other books that I enjoyed more. and. In order to keep this on my shelf, I would have to rearrange everything and I don't want to do that. So there is also the reprint edition that Viz released last year sometime. If I do ever want to revisit the story and try to get more out of it, I will just go ahead and pick up that edition and deal with my shelves later. But this volume I'm unhauling. And the rest of these are like newer series that I've been reading and you've probably heard me talk about in various reading vlogs or whatever or try a volume videos. So first one, this should be not a surprise to anyone. Goku Rakugai Volume 1. This felt like every other shonen manga that has come out in the past two or three years, so I did not enjoy this. Next is a little bit of a spoiler for my next reading vlog, but I have Volumes 1 and 2 of Snowball Earth. I didn't really like Volume 1 when I read it, and I read Volume 2 the other day, and I actually really hated it, and I'm going to talk about it more again in that reading vlog, so look forward to that if you want to hear my more in-depth thoughts, but this one, I'm very much not impressed with, so it needs to go. And lastly, for now, is another one that I've talked about a little bit recently. That's Sugumi Project. So I have Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. Again, this is a shorter series. It will be completed at seven volumes, but when I've read three volumes and I'm not invested, not impressed, I am impressed with the art, I will say. I do really like the art, but the rest of it was mediocre at best. So I've heard it gets better, after like volume four or five, I don't care. When I have to read like half the series or more to finally be invested, that just doesn't seem like a good thing. It seems like a series I would never reread or revisit. So I'm just gonna go ahead, cut my losses here and unhaul these as well. So yeah, those were all the manga I decided to unhaul this time. And actually taking a look at my shelves, I have noticed that I have a bit more space now, which is a good thing. Everyone who collects manga knows that the battle for space is one of the biggest problems with deciding to collect anything, not just manga. I'm winning that battle at the moment, but I have to stay ahead. So yeah, I think this will probably be my last on-haul video for a while. I've definitely like stared for a long time at my shelves to make sure that I'm only keeping the series I really, really enjoy. If you've read any of these series and you have thoughts on them that you'd like to share, please leave those comments down below or let me know what manga you've decided to unhaul recently. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!